today we are going to discuss one of the most important aspects of web security which is an SSL certificate. An SSL certificate installed on the website can encrypt the user data input with the encryption standard of 128 to 256 bit. This is great for any website that collects user data information. Moreover, an SSL installed on the website adds credibility as it shows the user that it is secure. In this video, let's see how the SSL certificates domain control validation can be done using the HTTP method. Logging to your reseller control panel, click on products, list all orders. You will see the SSL certificate purchased for your domain is currently inactive. So as to activate the SSL, you need to first issue the SSL certificate. So as to issue the SSL certificate, you need to have a CSR certificate signing request. The CSR is generated from your hosting panel. Click on the domain name associated with your Linux hosting. Scroll down to your hosting package and click on manage web hosting to open the cPanel. In the cPanel, you need to go to the SSL slash TLS option. Click on certificate signing request. Here, you keep the key as default. Enter the domain name. You can enter the credentials of city, country, company. Once you have added the compulsory details, you can click on Generate. Your certificate signing request has been generated for your domain. You can copy the encoded certificate signing request. Now you can scroll down to the SSL order. Click on Issue Certificate. Enter in your CSR code. Click on the Next button. You can select any of the predefined email addresses as we are using the alternate HTTP method. Once you issue your certificate, your application has been submitted. So as to complete this process, you need to go ahead with the alternate HTTP method for domain verification. To complete the HTTP verification method, you need to go to the link secure.comodo.com 
forward slash utilities forward slash default csr.html. Here you need to paste the CSR code. Select the option Show CSR Hashes. When you click on Decode, you will receive MD5 value and SHA256 value. These values are used to create a HTTP file. In the C panel, you can go to the file manager section. In the file manager section, you can add a HTTP file. The file will be added under public underscore HTML. You need to see the dot well hyphen known folder. To view dot files, you can go to settings, show hidden files, click on save. Once you click on show hidden files, you will receive the folder dot well hyphen known. In this folder, you will see another folder, pki-validation. You need to add your HTML file to complete the HTTP domain verification process in this part. Your file name will be the md5 value the MD5 value can be picked from this page. Once your file has been created, you need to edit the content under it. Select the file and click on the edit option. In this file, you need to add two lines. The first line would be the SHA256 value. And the next line will have komodoca.com. Once you have added the code, Click on save changes. Once you have saved the file, you open a new tab. You enter your domain name forward slash the md5 value dot txt file. Once you have this path, you click on enter. Upon running this file, you have completed your process. You can then contact the support team to get your SSL certificate issued. Once your SSL has been issued, your SSL certificate status would then change to active. The support team will further provide you with the CA bundle files and the CRT file to complete your installation. Once you install the SSL certificate, within 1-2 to two hours, the SSL will reflect in the browser. Hope you like this video. In case of any further queries, you can refer to the description box below. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.